I ran into my bed. <laughs> um, hello, it's been a while. Um, I have not been feeling good lately and I'm a little burnt out from not having a job still. It's been six months at this point, but I know God is on the move, so I'm not worried. So other than that, uh, as of late, not feeling good means not crocheting, right? Although I did manage to make this, Pennywise and Balloon. The balloon is supposed to be in his arm, but they're a little floppy because they're only secured with three stitches in the body itself. Um, I'm sure there's got to be a way to make this more sturdy and less floppy in every direction, but thank you. I know he's cute. Um, yeah, so anyways, I will link this pattern below in the description. I have made this once before, so it's it works up very fast, the body. Um, you start with the arms, and then you make one leg and the other leg, and then connect them to make the body. This is made on separately. This is not like part of the body. It's part part of the body, but it's worked into like back loops only of the rounds you work on the body. This ruffle is two, and so is this one. So the legs and the body and the head are technically all one piece. If you choose to sew the arms on after, technically they're separate pieces, but they are according to the pattern, worked directly into the body. So, I finished him. He is currently occupying my yarn bowl. Uh, not the intended purpose of a yarn bowl, but it's still working. And then, this is what I'm making next. Well, there's going to be, you know, like a, a figure and a body with this, but this is going to be Tony Tony Chopper, or I guess just Chopper for short, from the anime One Piece this hat is so cute. I kind of want to keep it just for myself. My hair is clean. Okay, I promise. I just washed it yesterday. I am Chopper now. So I'm going to work um, for this. The antlers and the ears are worked directly onto the hat. And then the hat is attached to the head. I don't like that. I want the hat to be detachable, but if you take off the hat, Chopper is bald. So I guess if I end up sitting this somewhere, I'm going to have to get a box big enough to fit the whole thing together as one piece, no pun intended, because this will not be coming off like the hat did off Luffy. So I'm going to start on the antlers. I have my browns back there. You know what? It never crosses my mind to adjust the lighting until I need to. I have my brown, dark brown and light brown back there. And the hat I worked up. I finished it yesterday. I started it the day before. Today is Tuesday. So I started it Sunday night. I can't bring myself to crochet during the day for some reason. I can only crochet. It's 9.24 p.m. right now. I can only crochet in the late p.m. I don't know why. I can't crochet during the day. Unless I am on like a time deadline, which rarely ever. Uh, so I am going to start, at uh, first I'm going to start by grabbing the yarn because it's kind of hard to crochet with it all the way back here, right? So, oh, don't do that. My hand scraped against the edge of the label, so this is a lot. I didn't need this much. <laughs> But this is Super Saver Jumbo Red Heart in the color coffee. If you drink your coffee this dark, you're crazy, first of all. And I'm not going to wind this just yet because this is a lot and this will probably be like four skeins of yarn. No, just kidding. This is one skein of yarn. It'll probably be like four cakes, five. That winder's kind of small. Five, maybe six if I wind them real small, which I wouldn't do that. So. A five, maybe. So I'm going to start on the antlers like I have now said for the third time probably. And I will update at some point. I am using a three and a half hook because my 3.0 hook 
snapped in half and decided that it was taking a permanent vacation, so that's okay, I suppose. I hope you all had a good spring break, great Easter, great Resurrection Sunday. Uh, we might talk a little bit about politics later on because this is barely the beginning of the video and I don't want you to leave yet. So this might be another chit chat video. I don't know. We'll see. I guess you have to stay tuned to find out. Okay, it's been like four days. It's time to stop stalling. I don't have all the pieces for Chopper ready yet just because I have not been in the artsy mood at all lately. I'm just going through it with not having a job, not feeling good. I've been congested for like three days and I have some bad news to share with you guys that I kind of don't want to talk about but I'm going to tell you anyways. Um, but I'm going to, in the meantime, so this is Chopper's head and his body. I don't know, I followed the pattern to a T and he came out with this little beak thing right here, so. Because this is, I don't know if you'll be able to even see it. Okay, do you see right here? Right, so this is an increase. This is a triple increase, which is three stitches in the same spot another triple increase and then a regular increase and then two rows of normal crochet and then down here starts the decreases and it so I'm gonna um, where the increases are at the top because obviously the head is worked from the top down so when I worked on it it was this way right so where the increases are is where his nose is going to be I think he'll look alright. I know he's already going to be super cute. Chopper's just a super cute character in general. So, do I want to talk about the bad news before or after? Maybe I'll, I'll do it after. So I'm going to switch to a top-down view. I'll try to at least for sewing Chopper. Forgot his name there for a second. And... Alright. So I went and had and stuffed his body obviously because I'm not going to sew it together with his body empty I, I kind of understuffed it and I didn't stuff all the way to the bottom of the head so when I am about to close off the neck sewing it I might add in a little more polyfill just so that his neck is not floppy like Princess Peach is over here <sighs> I said in and I might have already mentioned this because I've filmed two different segments already that we were going to talk politics if I did say that, disregard the statement, please. But that I forgot what we were going to talk about. But now it's bugging me that I forgot because I think it was something serious I wanted to talk about. I don't know. But I'm glad to see we all survived the eclipse. I didn't even know that it happened. I was in my room all day today. And when my sister came home from school, she was like, did you see the eclipse? And I was like, it already happened? And she's like, yeah, it was like at 1030. And I was like, oh, well, I was in my room on my phone so it didn't get dark in my room or anything so I missed it <laughs> which is fine because I didn't I couldn't have cared less about it I'm just glad that it's over maybe people will stop talking about it now because it was annoying even the people who I'm a Christian right so people who were like oh Jesus is coming back tomorrow oh this and that be, be afraid first of all the Bible says do not fear or do not be afraid whatever variation you want to take what I've heard 365 times in the Bible that's one for every day of the year God does not want us to live in fear he is not the author of confusion and he has given us the power of peace love and a sound mind so fear is not from God fear is a liar and we know who the father of all lies is Satan and he's defeated so he just needs to shut his big dumb mouth right okay um, but all these people saying like, oh, the rapture, oh, Jesus is going to return. The Bible says that no man, including Jesus Christ himself, 
as both fully man and fully God, knows the day nor the hour when the trumpet shall sound. So, instead of living in fear, why don't you open up your Bible and get to know your Savior stop living in fear, right? Right, okay, so let's go to the top down and sew up Chopper. I am not a JoJo Siwa fan, but that dumb song is stuck in my head. Help me, please. It's catchy. That's that's like the awful thing about it. And I feel bad because I don't know if it's my book. I was reading before I started doing this. People are being so mean to her about like, oh, you were a bad girl. What did you do? You know, you were on Dance Mom since you were a kid. Uh, people felt I don't know where to put. Okay, I guess I'll put it back where it was. People. This is his hat. People felt the same way about Miley Cyrus when she started venturing out of being a Disney kid. And so I don't know what the deal is with JoJo wanting to... I hate the word experiment, but that's basically what she's doing. You're not going to be able to see what I'm doing. But basically, sewing his head to his body. Um, as far as... My family's kind of loud in the background, so hopefully you don't hear them too much. We might talk about jobs at a later stage, so... For now, I'm just going to sew his head to his body. Okay, the birds are being a little extra screaming right now because I won't let them sit on my shoulder because they keep trying to eat my earrings. But I got Chopper's body together. I probably won't do any more filming till tonight when it's a little quieter in the background. I don't know what the family is being so loud about, but they are. So, I might just have to wait until later tonight. I want to talk about trying to get hired at Walmart. That's going to be the topic of at least a little bit of the video. Uh, Chopper obviously wears a hat, right? So, he wears a hat. He wears the hat. So, it's gonna, he's so cute. So that means that his antlers, okay, the hat is supposed to be sewn onto the head, but I don't like that idea. I like the idea of his hat is removable. But then that leaves the issue of he's going to be bald because his antlers and his ears are going to get sewn onto the hat. Obviously he doesn't have his nose yet. He looks kind of funny. He doesn't have any clothes. He does wear pants or like burgundy colored shorts that I haven't made yet. So maybe I'll start on the... One leg is longer than the other. It could just be the way they're attached because you have to add extra stitches to one leg to get around the side to attach them, but it's okay. Just do a little tugging and adjusting and they're all right. He's gonna be super cute. He's already even, okay, with his hat on, he is just shy of 11 and a half inches, so already taller than Luffy, I think, even with Luffy's hat on. And then he's gonna have his antlers here on the side. And so, all that I have left to make for him is his backpack. He wears like a little blue backpack. His, it's called a rumble ball. I guess it like enhances his powers because he's a doctor, but he also can change the shape of himself and his shorts. So I think I'm gonna get started on his shorts. They're burgundy. I don't know if I have burgundy yarn. I'm gonna have to look in there and see. We can look together. Let's look together. Okay, please don't look at all my junk on here. I keep my yarn in this filing cabinet. I guess I can move this over here for the time being. Uh, and I have it separate. Someone gave me this filing cabinet. A lady that used to do our taxes, she retired and gave me the filing cabinet. So I have my yarn in here and it's separated by color. So this whole top one is red. Red color yarn. Just because I have so much of this color, I'm tempted, tempted to make them this color. But it's supposed to be burgundy. I don't have burgundy. 
Yeah, we're just gonna go with this. Just because I have so much of it. Um. As soon as I can find the end of my. Okay. It was a little hard to ugh, record earlier just because the birds were being so noisy. Everybody in the background was being so loud. And so I waited until the night when the birds were put away. In the meantime, I finished his shorts. Hello, shorts for a little chopper. Although I, his body's pretty small and I'm worried these might be too big, but I doubt it. Hmm. He's a little bald head. He's gonna be super cute. Okay, which side's the back? So, I wanted to talk about... Did I talk about the bad news? I'm not sure. I'll have to go back and check after I get Chopper's pants on. I think I did. Anyways. Um, an update on trying to get hired at Walmart. Now the HR lady is changing her story. Why do these not fit? She is changing her story on what she said that she said to me. So, that's interesting. I called a few weeks ago. For some reason, the trick to reaching her is to call at 3 p.m. I guess that's like the specific time she's in the HR office. And so I called her a few days ago and she said that she would pass my information along to the department coach of cashiering. And I was like, oh, that's wonderful. Thank you so much. Cute. And so I called her, I like how I said cute and then immediately set him down on his face. Um, I called her on Friday, I think. Oh, I was supposed to call Food Co. today. Oops, I forgot. Tomorrow. I'll do it tomorrow when I wake up. Um, anyways, I asked her if I could talk to whoever is in charge of the cashiering department because that's what I want to do. That's what all my experience is in. And then she started saying, oh, well, I'm, you know, the HR lady, so any questions regarding hiring would come to me. And I wanted to be like, yeah, but I've already talked to you four times and you're giving me the same line of crap. So I want to talk to somebody else. But I didn't. I said, well, last time you called me, you said that you were going to pass my information along. So I just want to know why, like, that's not true. And then I'm going to try to make the backpack while I talk. Um, it's supposed to be in the color called Calypso, but it's just a teal color. So I'm just going to use this one. Um, she started saying, like, oh, well, any questions you have would come to me, yada, yada. And so she was like, well, I don't even know, like, what are you asking for? What you're saying doesn't make any sense. And I wanted to just be like, what, what other reason would I be calling Walmart HR other than to get hired? So she's like, okay, well, the reason we haven't contacted you is not because we're avoiding you or because you know all these different reasons it's because we're not hiring right now and I was like well I know I didn't say this but I wanted to I know that that's a lie because I know that Walmart is always hiring because you guys have a high turnover rate it's two weeks which means every two weeks someone is quitting their job so I know that they need help because the cashiers in the front are always saying that they need help so Either all of the cashiers in the front are lying, or Walmart just doesn't want to fire the people who won't show up to work and hire people that actually need a job. And I told the lady, her name is Mary, I said, you know, I understand if the reason you've been avoiding me 
is if you're not hiring, if that's true, then whatever. But I understand not wanting to rehire somebody who's worked for the company before because you don't know how faithful they're going to be to that job once you give it to them. I understand that. And so I asked her, if the answer is going to be no, can you just tell me? Because I'd rather hear no than be led on for all these months more than I already have been, which is about three at this point that I've actually been pursuing. Like, who really wants to work at Walmart? But when you need a job, you need a job. So, plus, cashiering is not that bad. That's what I like to do, so I think it would be all right. The Walmart is just right down the street from where I live, so it's not like I'm driving way out of the way like I was before to the other Walmart. So, I just think it's interesting how how I can't speak for one, but also how every time I call her, I lost my stitch marker. Every time I call her, her story changes on why she can't give me an answer yet. At first it was, oh, I have to ask the store manager if you can be rehired, and I was like, okay. And then it was, oh, we're not hiring. And then it was, again, oh, we're not hiring. And I'm like, that's such a, lo a, a lord. Why can't I speak, dude? Probably because I'm congested and that's like all I can focus on is how I probably sound like a bucket of snot right now. I don't, I have never heard a Walmart employee say that they are not hiring. Especially because everybody in the front end is saying differently. So I don't know what the deal is. But if the answer is no, just tell me no. I don't know. The whole thing is weird. Anyways, I'm going to work on Chopper's backpack. And then after his backpack, all I will have left is the rumble ball. That's going to be really easy to make. It's pretty small. And then I'll just put it all together. So let's do this. I'll switch back down. Switch back down. I'll switch back to the top down view so we can make the backpack together. I'm either going to have to start my own business, like, okay, my dad is always encouraging me, telling me, you know, you have to be the one to pursue them, you have to be calling them. I, I've i even taken resumes to places and went and introduced myself in person, and I still have not heard anything, and I don't know if it's because California is ran by a wackadoo, and he keeps raising minimum wage, it's almost $20 an hour here now. It... Well, okay, I'm conflicted between, like, McDonald's employees making $20 an hour to flip burgers and count chicken nuggets. But then again, I think if you're working, you should be paid a livable wage, because if you're not able to survive on what you're making, then what's the point in working? Like, this is probably the first time ever in America, recently here, maybe within, like, the last 20 years, people have had to work two jobs for the most part just to make it by comfortably. <clears throat> it's insane. And you know what? I didn't know until recently that things outside of California are not as expensive. Well, like, duh. Not as expensive, but that means that minimum wage is not what it is here in California. Like, way back in the south, it's only like eight, nine, maybe ten dollars an hour. And to me, who was born and raised in California, that feels criminal. Like, that's insanely low. But I guess it's normal when not everything is through the roof. I don't know.
apparently I wasn't paying attention when I started this and I somehow missed a whole nine rounds of the body of the backpack and so now I get to take it apart and do it again. Yay me. I love doing the same thing twice. But I guess I should have just paid attention the first time, huh? I'm not going to make you watch it again, so I'll just meet you back when it's done. Okay, as we wait for the desk light to decide that it's going to desk light today. Just kidding, I didn't have it on. Oops. Um, <clears throat> I finished basically everything. I almost said Luffy. I basically finished everything for Chopper, so it's time to assemble. Ow. Just knock the crap out of my fingers on my desk. I made his little backpack last night, and it's supposed to be stuffed and sewn shut, but what good is a backpack if it's not functional? So I put Velcro instead, so it, it could actually be used. I don't know what I would put in here, maybe like little glass vials of something, because Chopper is a doctor, so that just makes log logical sense to me. Or, well, okay. This I haven't finished, but if you've seen One Piece, this is his rumble ball, and it's supposed to be a necklace, but I thought about making another one for the sake of going in his backpack. I might have to do that. Of course, I just put the orange yarn away. There's supposed to be an X right here on the front to match his hat, and I'm not sure if I want to sew it on or if I want to needle felt it. I kind of want to needle felt it just so I know it won't come up. Because I don't like the way it looks when it's sewn on. <sighs> I'll have to think about it. But for now, I'm going to put another little dab of paint on here. I don't know why this stuff is called 3D fabric paint when it dries so flat. What part of 3D means flat? None. So. I went to in and out today for the first time in like 15 ever. It was so good. <laughs> my family, well, my sister does. My parents don't like In N Out, which they're missing out. In N Out is so good. In N Out is probably one of the freshest fast food places you can eat at. In terms of like everything is prepared on the spot, nothing is frozen. I don't like ground beef at all. Like ground anything is just disgusting to me. I can go ham on an In N Out burger, so they're really good. So let me, okay, this rumble ball, since I already made it, I'm going to turn this one into his necklace, and then I'm going to make another one, and that will go in his backpack. Um, I don't know exactly what these do, but I know that they enhance his powers, since Chopper is like a reindeer-human hybrid, because he ate a devil fruit. And so he can, that's not what this is, I don't know why I went like that, like it was. Uh, he can change forms, I'll have to put the picture I found right here. He can change forms from being like more of an actual reindeer, like walking on all fours. Or more like this form, where he's stuck, where he walks on, you know, his hind legs, but you can tell he's still a reindeer. Or to a more like humanoid form where he looks he's like really buff and he did, but he's obviously still a reindeer so here we'll do a rumble ball I didn't make his arms posable just because I thought they were too small for a pipe cleaner to fit in a Chanel stem but so his arms are just they're a little floppy if I want to at the end I might go through and just put like a a snake of jewelry wire, I don't know why I couldn't think of those two words, through his arms just to make them kind of poseable, because the wire's pretty thin, I think it would be alright to do it like that. But knowing me, once I'm done with him, I'll probably be done with him, which means I won't be adding any other details. So I have to sew everything to the hat, make his nose and his mouth, oh and give him his little eyebrows. He's quite bald under his hat. And then, but as far as body, he is done. So, let me... Do you want your face first? Yeah, okay. Let me, let me give him his face, hold on. Okay, take your... Can release the cranium. Okay, so I... Why does your head look like it's crooked? It's not. 
I'm tempted to do face shaping on him, but he wouldn't look right. So it's, he's going to stay just like this with his big baby head. Okay. Okay, I can't find the... I have like a thin brown cotton yarn that I like to use for face details. I can't find it. So I'm just going to use the same dark brown that I used for his hooves. His hooves. And since this is four strand yarn, I think I'm going to cut it. Obviously, I'm going to cut it. I think I'm going to um, split it, make it a little, th I don't know, hmm, let's see. No, four strands might be alright. What are you doing? Stay in frame. Stop that. Normally, I like to blame my inability to not have scatterbrain on the birds, but they're outside right now, so I can't blame it on them. It's just my brain today. So, I don't, I don't have my laptop open, so I don't have the pattern right in front of me. So we're just going to guesstimate on where they go. Like, hold on. Like right here. Does this look alright? Like that? Yeah, okay, and then... Like right there. I should have got a longer needle. I don't like to squish their heads once they're stuffed because it like displaces the stuffing. And it changes the way they're shaped, but of course I picked up my smallest needle. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry to be squishing your brain. Of your polyfill brain. Okay, let's see. Yeah, that looks alright, right? For some reason to me, it looks uneven, but it's not. Okay, anyway, so just to tie it off, trim my tail a little shorter. And then, uh, in my last video, the catfish one where I said I like to do a double knot and then proceeded to not do a double knot. What I meant was to go twice through the the loop and then pull it because it, it really helps to secure the knot. Like that knot is not coming out now. Three is okay depending, like three times through the loop, depending on what kind of yarn you're using. Because if it's really slick, then the knot probably won't stay in if you do a three. Like two is the perfect, the perfect amount of revolutions around the... I know I have longer needles, let me find one. Okay, we'll just use a plastic needle, I suppose. I have been very, well, like I said in the beginning, down about not having a job, right? Which meant that I wasn't crocheting and I kind of am mad at myself now because I could have had chopper done like three days ago <sighs> if I wasn't just sitting in my room like a depressed lump like a depressed bump on a log he could be done I know his name is chopper and for some reason I keep wanting to call him Luffy <laughs> okay and then just in case hide these tails inside the head somehow Okay. So let me get the orange yarn out and then we'll make the other rumble ball. Those are really easy to make so I don't even need the pattern for those out like in front of me. Okay, I obviously I've already made one so I'm going to use the same yarn, right? But I have the same, uh, well, the same yarn that I used to make this Pochita keychain from Chainsaw Man. And I was debating between these two. You can see they're obviously very different in shade. Even just through the camera. Um, and I thought the obnoxiously bright orange one would look a little better. In terms of the color scheme of Chopper. Just because Chopper is so bright. Brightly themed. Like his backpack is bright blue. His hat is bright pink. So I thought 
bright orange would look the best, right? Okay, so Rumble Ball is really easy. I'm not going to tell you because it's not my pattern to give out, but just know it's quite simple. So, I remember what I wanted to talk about now. When I said I wanted to talk, we'll talk about politics later. It's not actually politics. I just wanted to talk about Easter because that, that's back when I started this video. I know. Don't judge me. <laughs> it's been a while. I know. But I wanted to address people constantly, of which I'm tired of hearing, addressing people saying that Easter is pagan. No, it's not. And I don't care if you say, you know, whatever their arguments are. I don't care what they are because Easter is not pagan. If Easter is a pagan holiday, why don't the pagans celebrate it? I have never seen no pagan celebrating the resurrection of Jesus Christ, which is what Easter has always been linked to. Even if you call it Resurrection Day, Easter, they're the same. So this Rumble Ball, I'm going to go in his backpack. So, okay. Let's see how big do I want it to be it's just an X it shouldn't be this complicated right right wrong do it from the inside so I can tie it off and nobody will see it and go like here and come up here the lady does several strands of yarn, which is why I didn't particularly like it, because it looked kind of, I'm going to try it just to see what it looks like. It looked a little messy to me. Like, she didn't pull the strands very tight, and so you could see that they were kind of like, like that, like spaced out. Yeah, no. No, no, no. Just no. Now, maybe if I did, like, Hold on, let's see. If I did him in the the same direction at first, m mayhaps. My sister hates that word. Hopefully she's not watching this video because she probably just cringed a lot. I'm sorry. I do like that word just because nobody says it hardly anymore. Mayhaps. It's the same as perhaps. It just means maybe. Okay, if I do it like twice in the same direction first and then cross over because then they're going to be pulled like tighter together maybe maybe don't worry I won't say it again maybe let's see I don't particularly care that it's not centered I, I really don't it's okay the idea is still there Just kidding. I lied. Yeah, I do. Hold on. You would think something so simple would not be giving me such trouble. But it doesn't look right. No matter how I do it. Well, I do want it to look decent, right? If I'm going to try to sell it, I at least want to put my best work into it. You know, I am going to be honest. I have not had much success. Why does it do that, though? It doesn't sit okay I was about to lose it and say this won't sit in the middle but it did okay that's good I'm not fixing it again that's good enough right does that look all right I might be able to just put a little a, a little craft glue in here and just smooge them together so they stay but it's not gonna get much better than that and I think it looks all right so now I'm going to meticulously Turn it inside out. And tie it off. Okay. Okay, and then to secure this, because I don't trust yarn to not come apart these days, I'm going to just 
my best friend craft bond and just just over the knot I feel like this works really well at keeping things secure I am so grateful that I g gave craft bond a try I used to only use e6000 and just the the fumes that come off of that stuff used to make me just not feel good and I wasn't comfortable using around my using it <laughs> using it around my pets and so I craft bond is just much better um, if I need to like secure safety eyes like the one I did for Dante the dragon not spike his eye was that when I was doing the face detailing his eye literally broke off the peg let me hold on let me get him okay no this is not why he was in the background I just thought he was cute so I put him back there I believe it was this eye I was doing the white which is why it's not here the white eye details and I went to put the needle behind the eye and it literally snapped you know how like safety eyes come on like a oh, what was that what what's that word they're just oh I guess slotted is what you would call it a peg right about this long so you can slide the washers onto the back brand new safety eyes from Hobby Lobby and the eye broke off and so I put some oh is this eye you can kind of see it in there see the shiny behind the eye um, I put E6000 and then I stuck this part back on and I tied some yarn around like through the head around the eye to hold it down like it's not coming off E6000 works very well the fumes are just not not worth it but it worked and I think he's really cute I still think he's really cute even from when I made him way back when so so wow my camera is my camera is fine my phone is backwards usually it's facing the other way hopefully it does not mess up the footage I will be sad so he's just gonna sit here in my little basket Thank you. So, I think I have everything ready now for Chopper. Oh, I still have to make his nose. I lied. I'm sorry. I lied to you. His little nose. His nose is blue, so let's do that real quick. I'm sorry for the constant changing of perspective. I thought I was done, but I am not, so. Uh, for his nose, I was really debating between using, like, a safety nose because they sell plastic noses that come just like the eyes. And painting it blue and putting it here. But the, all the ones that I have are kind of like dog nose shaped. All the ones that I have left in this like kit thing that my mom bought me. Are kind of like dog. Dog nose shaped. Like that one. Oh these are little round noses. Huh. Maybe I need to look in here more often. Maybe I need to look in here more often. I just realized it's recording upside down. Dog. Little dog noses. And then I have just these regular, like, triangle shaped ones. Nah. I'll sew it. I'll sew it on like the pattern says. Okay. I turned the camera around. I'm. Editing this video is going to be a doozy. It really is. Good thing I in semi enjoy the process of editing. I used to use Kind Master to edit my videos, but I didn't like how it wouldn't let you edit without putting a watermark on your videos if you go back and watch my earlier ones, which I don't recommend because cringe. But um, yeah, I didn't like how you couldn't record without a watermark. So now I use CapCut, and I would recommend CapCut to anybody who asks that cap cut is so good and like most free play store apps it has where you can do like a premium membership and unlock you know like all the fonts all the filters all the transitions from like one segment to the next and i maybe i don't i considered it back when i had a job but i don't i don't i don't think i film enough now that it would be even worth it to invest in something like that like I would have to be constantly filming unless you could do like a month to month kind of purchase this yarn has static in it and when I pulled it out just now it's stuck to my face 
when I pulled it through his head. It stuck to my face. So the reason that the pattern is made with all these weird looking increases I showed you in the beginning is because you're supposed to use them as like like a landmark almost to be able to create his nose on the face. Oh, and I also have to give him his mouth. I think I'm going to use um, sewing thread for his mouth though just because in the in the pattern images it looks like such a fine line under the nose that I don't want it to be so heavy that it looks like he's got a little mustache. <laughs> so I kind of like this way better of recording of where I just make everything and then we assemble it together. I like that better than trying to record the process of making each item. I feel like that was just too much because of how noisy the birds are. I feel like I could never actually like record. I mean obviously birds are going to make noise, right? But there are certain circumstances where you kind of want the birds to shut up <laughs> and and they don't. Like right now they're outside in their cage. I like that. Does that look too big? Does that look all right? Let me open the pattern. Hold on. Okay, he's got a a decent sized nose in the pattern. But I think it's not centered though. I think I need to move it over just a little, just a smidge from just here from here where it is just literally to right here. This is the center of the beak that I was talking about earlier. I'm going to show you a trick for getting really thick yarn into a teeny tiny little needle. Wow, camera, thank you for focusing. I really appreciate that. Okay, never mind. Anyways, this needle, the eye of this needle is really small. Okay, so you're going to take a piece of paper with your yarn on the inside and you're going to cut it at an angle like this. And because paper is quite a bit stiffer than yarn, you can just do long nails get in the way of crocheting? Yes, they do. Am I going to cut them off? I'm contemplating it. And then you just pull that through the eye of your needle and it's in there, right? What is wrong with my camera? It, hello. Okay, anyways, you can see it's in there. And now you can just. So. So in the center is right here. So. What? Chopper, you're getting your nose pierced? I used to want my nose pierced, but considering maybe I don't pull the needle straight towards myself would be a good idea. Considering I can't decide on, or couldn't, I really don't want to anymore, unless I can get it where I want it, which I know my dad would never let me, even though I'm 24 years old and don't really need permission. I still respect my parents enough to obey those wishes. Anyways, um, I used to want to get if I was going to pierce my nose, to get a septum piercing, just because I can't decide left or right for like a regular nose piercing. But I'm probably not ever going to get it done because I'm a sissy. I know it doesn't hurt that bad, but I feel like as much as I touch my face and as much as like my nose runs and it, as much as I have nosebleeds, which hasn't been very often actually, my nose is doing a lot better with that particular issue, mostly because I've just been really congested lately. I did go to an ENT for it, and his solution was, because I have a deviated septum, which is why my nose is bleeding so much, to correct it with surgery, but even then he said, like, oh, choppers, okay. Sorry, his, his nose is just so much smaller in the pattern, but I already have it started. I really don't want to undo it. Anyways, the doctor said to correct what is wrong with my nose with a surgery where they go in and, like, this is going to sound really nasty, so if you don't want to hear this, I would skip ahead a few seconds, okay? 
where they scrape away like the inner wall of the septum to thin it out on the side that it's deviated on so for me it's my left side and then put a what's it called a, not a splint I mean yeah I guess a splint I don't think that's the right word in my nose to help it heal and it's an outpatient procedure which means it would be done in one day and I could just go home and, and heal but the doctor said like it's not even guaranteed that it would work I know no medical procedure is a hundred percent no this doesn't look right hold on okay I'm just gonna take it out and start over if I'm not satisfied with it I won't be happy to sell it so I'm just gonna take it out and start over the doctor said that it's not even a guarantee that the surgery would solve the issue because of how severe it looked almost I guess is what he was saying that it wasn't even a guarantee that it would completely solve the issue and I was like, well, then there's not even no point in having an invasive procedure like that because it's not guaranteed to work. But like I said, I know no medical procedure is 100%. But if there's no chance of it working and like the chance is actually that I would have to have it done again. Like after it heals, to have it done again. I'm not, I'm not going to put myself through something just for the sake of doing it if it's not going to work. Chopper's nose is only the width of one, one or two rounds, so I, I was about to do Chopper a big disservice by giving him this huge schnoz. Let me get it out. Okay, start. Sorry, if I just sniffled in your ear, I didn't mean to. She starts the nose under under this where these under where I know I got polyfill all over his face under where these triple increases are she starts two rows under that so I'm gonna go back in with a regular darning needle so Like here. Okay, but I'm gonna start over here. So when I tie it off, it's not at the center of the face. Maybe not. Oh, can I just say on my last video, you guys blew me away with the views. A hundred and whatever it's at now. I was not expecting that. That is amazing. So thank you guys for that. I mean, a hundred's not a lot. But if there were a hundred people in my room right now, that'd be crazy. And then I would politely ask you to leave. Because this is my room, not our room. <laughs> okay, it looks like she does it. I don't know if she does the like this part of the nose first. Or the under part where it kind of looks like it's just wrapped around these ones. Okay, let me try to figure this out, and I'll meet you back when I'm done with the face. Okay, uh, that's probably about as good as it's gonna get. And I need- I forgot to do the mouth. I said I would come back when I was done with the face. Apparently, to me, the whole face is just a nose. Let me hide this tail real quick. I wonder why... For anybody that has seen... First of all, if you've seen all of One Piece, you deserve, like, a medal of sorts. Is it- is there any particular reason why Chopper's nose is blue? Because now I'm curious. So, for the mouth, she just used- I mean, it looks like sewing thread. It's so thin in the picture. Okay. For his rumble ball, I don't want it to be- I left like a really long tail on this, but obviously I don't want it to be that long. So I'm gonna just... Well, it's gotta be long enough that it won't fall down like over his body, right? 
So if I how do I do this? I thought about using an actual like necklace chain because I didn't want it I wanted it to be able to come off but I don't want it to get lost. I think that looks all right. Okay. And then obviously I'm just gonna I had to bring Gizmo in here, the, the tiny dog, because he doesn't like to be alone and I am the only one here right now. So the only thing left is, I almost called him Gizmo because of that, for Chopper. I like how it, today must be called Chopper anything but his name day, is the hat and all the details on that. So I think I've bored you long enough. I will just come back when this is done because it's going to take me a while to figure out how to sew the antlers together. There's not very many good pictures on the pattern. Don't get me wrong, the pattern is fantastic. There's just not very many good pictures of like angles I actually need to see to be able to sew them together. So, like the antlers are just these long rods like this, right? And there's one short one and one big one. And they're sewed together, but somehow she gets them to curve. She didn't say to make them curvy, she just said to sew them. To get, like, to crochet them and then sew them together. I'm assuming, because from the picture, they're the same length in the front. Like, it almost looks like they're like this. From the front. But if this one's shorter, shouldn't it be... I don't know. I'll have to figure it out. I'm almost done with the antlers. I'm on the last one. Well, there's only two, so I'm on the second one. But... It's gonna go right here. So... Dude. I thought Luffy was the cutest thing I've ever made. He is so adorable. He's kind of top heavy. Understandable because like I'm grateful that I did I actually didn't attach the hat to the head. The, the hat is removable. And I, I'm glad I didn't because he's kind of top heavy. So <clears throat> like he's going to have to be on like a doll stand or something because he's like I said top heavy. And his feet are like he just can't support his own weight. His feet are made at an angle. Because they're hooves. Hooves. So he can't obviously stand up flat footed. So he would have to be leaned on something. Or put on a doll stand. Or like. <clears throat> like strung through maybe like his head through his hat. So the hat doesn't just come off the body and the body fall on the floor. To maybe like suspend him from the ceiling. Or something. But. He's adorable. I love him. So I will put all the information regarding the pattern in the description. I don't have much more to say. If you made it through this long, chaotic, scatterbrain video, I commend you. So, I will see you next time.